This is the ANET A8, which is available on Gearbest for around 180 bucks. Two weeks after ordering, I received the kit and had it assembled within eight hours thanks to a lot of coffee. The pieces are made of acrylic and held together with small nuts and bolts. Make sure to keep the extras, you'll need them. Keep the printer on a steady and level surface and away from the elements. Since this printer doesn't come with any filament, I ordered some Hatchbox PLA off of Amazon. This is a great material if you're starting out. You can print with other materials as well. I also have nylon, but I prefer to use the PLA. Upon turning my printer on, I realized the hot end was broken. I bought a new one and it printed just fine. Do not be surprised if your kit comes with faulty parts. That's just a risk that you take when buying a printer this cheap. When it comes to printing with the ANET A8, it's relatively simple. It comes with an SD card and USB adapter to store your files on. The format that you print with is called G-Code. I design all of my models in Tinkercad, which is a free online 3D modeling platform. Once you're happy with your model, export it and open it in Cura. Cura is a 3D file slicer, which exports G-Code files. The printer uses this G-Code file as instructions to print your model. Within Cura, you can define key specifications for your prints and move objects all around the printing area. After configuring your settings in Cura, you can save your code file to the SD card. Next thing you have to do before you print is level your bed. Go to Quick Settings and Home All. This will bring the printer head to the corner of the build plate. Now go to the bottom of that menu and select Disable Steppers. Grab yourself a piece of paper and a Phillips head screwdriver. Each corner can be adjusted until the nozzle is barely gripping the piece of paper when you slide it back and forth. Do this with all four corners to level your bed properly. This is extremely important when it comes to print quality. Now prepare your print bed by adding a layer of tape. I use regular painter's tape, but others work as well. If your prints aren't sticking, try using a glue stick to increase the plate's stickiness. Lastly, load your filament. This can get quite tricky because you have to guide the filament into a small tube which leads to the hot end. To print your file, go to the SD card, mount card, print file, and find your file. Once your printer heats up to the necessary temperatures you defined in Cura, it'll start printing your model. If you want to improve the quality of your prints, there are plenty of upgrades on Thingiverse that you can download. Upgrading your fan duct will improve your prints immensely. The upgraded duct will provide more efficient airflow and cooling for the filament after it's laid down. The next upgrades you'll want to print out are belt tighteners. These belt tighteners will improve printing accuracy. The last modification you'll want to make is a filament guide. I just use a clamp to ensure that the filament is being fed from the same direction consistently. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind if you buy this printer. This printer is a challenge, and it's definitely for you if you like to tinker. So don't buy it expecting it to work right out of the box. It'll take some time to tweak it and get everything to work correctly. Don't forget to unplug your printer when you're not using it. It's a huge fire hazard. The hot end can reach extremely high temperatures. If you're done assembling your printer and things don't seem to be working correctly, make sure that your circuit board is all set up right. Sometimes it's easy to mix up certain plugs. Also, make sure your power converter is set to the correct voltage, otherwise your circuit board won't be receiving enough power. Also keep in mind that this printer makes quite a mess, so you'll want to keep a trash can handy. Overall, for the money that you're spending on this printer, it's incredible and performs very well. Here are some things that I've made with it. Remember to be patient with this printer, and learn how it really works. Once you get your first print done, you'll understand just how magical the process really is. I hope you learned a lot from this video. The ANET A8 is a great printer, and it's really worth the price, so definitely invest your money in this before you go and buy a $1,000 printer. Thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video.
Bye.